hello everyone today we are going to cover another design pattern and which is command design pattern so the definition for command design pattern which you can get from internet is this it's a behavioral design pattern in which a request is encapsulated inside an object which can be called at any point of time object contains all the information like method name object that owns the method and value for method parameters in other words what actually that means is command pattern converts a request into a standalone object that contains all the information to complete the request this allow you to parameterize method with different requests delay or queue a request execution and support undoable operations and the benefits which i, I can see from uh, command design pattern is like uh, the resulting design will be following a single responsibility principle and it is following open close principle which is open for uh, extension and close for modification now let's move to the implementation part to demonstrate command design pattern i have picked up an example from gui programming where we have a toolbar and generally some kind of canvas where we work on selecting an operation from toolbar has some side effects on the canvas i have demonstrated command design pattern by implementing a dummy copy and cut command through command interface okay so in your screen you will be seeing a dummy application and inside the dummy application we have a toolbar and canvas so what happens is inside the toolbar we have a copy button and cut button and clicking on those button you have in some operation on canvas so in the second image you will be seeing that copy button and cut button directly manipulating the canvas so this is not a good way because in future let's suppose you want to do the same operations and so you have to repeat these steps somewhere else also like you have implemented a shortcut uh, feature like control c control x so then you have to do the same operations there also so what we can do which is depicted in the third image we can put a command interface in between and it will be doing the copy thing copy operations and cut operations so what we can do in that case we just call the copy button uh, we just call the command interface from the copy button and command interface from the cut button and it it will do the necessary operation on the canvas so the benefit of this is like you can just use this same command interface for implementing the shortcut Uh, feature of your application in that case you you'll just put the uh, command interface in between and you just done because you are not repeating yourself so now let's move to the implementation part so the example which i have showed you just now is represented in this code so we have a command hierarchy so this i command is an abstract interface Uh, which is used by copy command and the cut command so in this i have done nothing just i have implemented the execute command dummy execute uh, function uh, method of this copy command and execute method of this cut uh, command and we have an application and inside the application we are just invoking this command so ideally what should happen is uh, this command should be attached to some event listener okay and in that case when that even happens that execute uh, method of that particular command will trigger and will do the necessary operations so this is just a basic uh, uh, dummy application i just told you so we have created an application i am calling the init it is calling this function and in that case i am creating a canvas so canvas is defined over here so this is an canvas so which going to be manipulated by this copy command and cut command 
okay so now let's just run this example and see what happens okay so uh, it happens to be calling copy command first yes it's calling the copy command so it getting the uh, selected item from the canvas that is fine and in cut command we have doing something different we are just getting the uh, selected item first and then we're deleting that item so this is a basic example so now let's move to the next section of the video which is applicability so you can use command design pattern when you want to parameterize objects with different request okay so in that case what does that mean is uh, let's suppose you have a some button x and in uh, application is running and user want to change the behavior uh, attached to the x so what you can do is you you can just change the uh, command which is attached to that particular button and in that case that particular interface is doing something different which it was doing before so that can be done with command interface very easily you can use command pattern when you want to queue up operation or execute any other point of time or execute remotely so benefit of uh, converting a request into an object uh, gives us like we can store these commands as an object so we can store it in database we can send it across the network so you can have uh, an end endless possibilities and next point is you can use command pattern when you want to maintain a history of commands to support undoable operations so you can keep track of which operation you have performed on the particular thing like in our example canvas and you can just redo those things very easily you have to just maintain some stack that you have done this and you have done this and you just pop back the entries 